Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Welcome to another episode of Cut the Tape. I'm Rick Alvarez. Today I thought we'd do something a little different, something we've never done before on the show. Let's put this aside. Today I thought we'd open something from Cyberverse. No, just kidding, just kidding. I have... One, two, three, four. Four boxes here that I thought I would open for you. And uh, these have been on my to-do list for quite some time. So, let's, uh, let's see what we have. These are the Generation Selects. <clears throat> okay. So we have Megatron. This is my first time actually handling this mold. I have the Earthrise Megatron on order. I've got, I've got two of them on order. I just haven't shipped them yet. All right, let's free him from his plastic prison. I'm really excited to play with this. I actually think this one is gonna be a lot harder to get than the Megatron. Let me ask you this. Have you ever seen the Earthrise Megatron at retail? I never have, which is why I had to order him online. Come on, don't be stingy. There we go. I think if you were to cut the tape in the dark, like everyone would just know your location. Come on. Come on. Come on. Easy peasy. Yeah, easy, easy peasy. Whew. All right, let's see. Well, I, li I like the size, I love the head. That is a perfect head. Mine does have a little like blemish here. But you know what, that adds character. Uh, we can put his cannon right there, or we can get the hack from someone. I forget who has it, but we get to, I think it's a 3D printed piece, and you get to like mount, mount the cannon up top. That's, that's where it needs to go. It needs to go up top, and you can kind of put it there. It's not the same, though. This needs to go up top. All right, so this is my first time handling this figure. We have our cool sword here. This kind of reminds me of the sword from Energon Megatron, where it would fit, but in, like this part would look like the tank from Armada Megatron. Kind of reminds me of that. So this is a remold. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that the most beautiful thing? Sorry, I'm a little congested today. Uh, so my voice is not, not the best. Megatron, attack. 
Oh, here comes the dog. Here comes Ripley. This is why I don't like to transform things on the show, because I have a bad recollection of how things are supposed to transform and fit together. Oh, that's how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. That's not right. No. No. That's that's not right at all. It's right on this side. Oh, that's better. I believe this is the turret of the tank and that is gonna go like that and then this part I think this is like to prevent uh, t attacks from the back and then you have this piece and this is just like an extra piece just put it right right in there and ugh, I actually had that upside down whoops whoopsie all right there it is super easy barely an inconvenience to transform this there it is. Generation 2, Generations, Select, Hasbro, Pulse, semi-exclusive. It's, um, no, it's really nice. I'm super happy with this. Super happy. It's a little loose. You can tell the joints are a little loose. Like, that probably shouldn't be wiggling like that. But, um, you know, there it is. Really, really happy with this. Right, who else do we got? Oh, let's see. Love, love these customized boxes. Ooh, you know, when you have a new blade, it's like cutting through butter. All right, who we got? We got, oh, Rotor Storm. Rotor Storm. I gotta wonder, is this, is this the first official release of Rotor Storm in the United States? I wonder. You know, I think there might have been a mini con named Rotor Storm, but uh, you know, this character particularly. I'm really happy that we got Rotor Storm. Uh, I love Last Stand of the Wreckers. Probably one of my all time favorite comics. Uh, you can always go to it and read it. It's an easy read. Love reading it. All right, and this guy is very reminiscent of that. I kind of want an overlord with a finger just to point right at his forehead. So this is a Spinister remold. I think a few of us were worried that the head wasn't going to be different, that we were just going to get that Spinister head, but nope, here it is, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this is from like the generation 1.5 line, which is somewhere between G2 and G1. This was originally a UK exclusive character. His mold was eventually used to create Sandstorm in Machine Wars. All right. That, that definitely goes there. Um, I guess that that goes there. This is this does a thing here. Oh, that's supposed to happen. Yep. You know what? I think we'll just throw that away. We don't even need that. That's just garbage. We don't need that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh oh, yeah. That's what it is. Does that 
that comes out like that. Yep, that one comes out like that. Yep. And we're gonna put this right here. Put this one right there. And that is it. There you have it. Oh, we have the arms mistransformed here. And then I assume the weapons, from what I remember, go here and here. Oh, you gotta peg it on. All right, there we, there we are. This is Rotor Storm. Uh, I really like the transformation on this guy. Very intuitive. Uh, everything snaps together really well. Uh, very, very happy with this. Um, the colors match for the most part. The inspiration of, of this new interpretation of the character. So really, really glad with it. Really, really glad. I'm super happy with that face. It's kind of got a GoBots vibe because the face just kind of chills out there. Yeah, really cool. Here's the test, though, to see if the rotor spin. Yep, yep, I love that. You know, I do the same thing with cars. You roll them along the ground to see if, if the, the wheels return. And um, yeah, yeah, boom, I love it. Cool. All right, we got another one over here, moving on. Uh, hopefully this doesn't give it away. I'm trying to open these so that you can't see what's coming next. It's Rache and Paradron Medic. It's cool, you get the little Cyberverse thing there. This is a this is a drawing. So uh, not my best work, but you know, practice makes progress. So a little self plug right there all right let's start with uh paradox drone medic who we should we should give her an official name um medivac uh me meditate um what let me know in the comments what her name should officially be uh i think zeldron is the only one who comments anyway so so here she is. We should definitely give this girl uh, her own name. In fact, I would love to see like a four or six page or a four or six book miniseries on what her origins are. So I think that would be pretty entertaining. All right, let's go ahead and transform her before we take Rache out. This one's this one's pretty simple. It's just like the uh, this is just a straight repaint of the Earthrise RC, yep. Oh, actually, are these supposed to come out? Yep. Yes, they are. All right. Oh, got a little. Looks like they sent me in a little extra part there. We don't need that. All right. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, there we go. There she is, all transformed. Now this is the roll test. This is what I was talking about with Rotor Storm. Can we put it on the ground after we transform it and will the wheels roll? Now, granted I, I have a, a wheel over here, but we're gonna do the test anyway. Beautiful, beautiful, perfect, perfect. Could not, could not be happier with this. This is, uh, this is masterpiece level, quite frankly. Um, and then you have all these options on how to put the legs. So you can put the legs like this, you can put the legs over here, right? And it all transforms super smooth. That's really cool, I'm, I'm digging this, yeah. I'm absolutely digging this. It, it kind of looks like blur a little bit, but no, I'm, uh, this is really cool. 
All right. Moving on to Reche. This is a iron hide remold. Uh, now, Ironhide was available in a two-pack with Prowl. Ratchet came in a two-pack as well. Let's go ahead and take him out here. Okay. So here, here we got Ratchet. Pretty sharp. Pretty sharp. Really digging it. Really digging it. Here's a close-up of the head. It's a nice head. That is a nice ratchet head. So let's go ahead and transform this guy. That's well, definitely gonna turn here because uh, uh, these wheels need to be on the bottom. Uh, his transformation's a little less complex than some of the other guys. You gotta get a little tricky here with the legs. There we go. And then I think this part, you open these windows here and it attaches here to form the top. So it's a little parts forming, little parts forming. There we go. Awesome. This one also, I noticed the joints are a little loose on this. You know, it has that, uh, it's, a it's a little loose. So some um, clear nail polish on the joints will tighten it right up. That's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. For some reason, um, plastic on this is giving me a headache. I don't know why. Something about the, the odor. Uh, but, you know. I mean, that's an ambulance. You look at this and that's an ambulance. So what more do you want? All right. Throw that away. Or recycle it. And finally, we have da -da -da -da, someone who I just got yesterday. It's a little unusual for me to open something that I just got. Just because of time. Oh, there's, it's the shattered glass set. So it has uh, shattered glass, uh, a Rocher, which I believe this one's called Ra Ratchet, because the names also change. And uh, so that's interesting. You see, this is broken apart, or it's packaged separately from this, whereas this one came attached to it. And I didn't think this came off at first, but now that I see that this one's packaged here, and kind of curious that they're both red sirens. Should not that been a purple? So we'll forgo uh, playing with Ratchet. Uh, we'll, we'll focus on Optimus. So a little history about Shattered Glass. Shattered Glass was first pitched, uh, and I would say invented, by Mr. Brian Savage for the Bacon convention. Now, originally, he wanted to do something where it was uh, Megatron Prime. He was really adamant about using that name, Megatron Prime, and we had a conversation about it, and I uh, told him, nope, we're, we can't do that. Um, I think it was Lanny... Latham, who came up with with the broken window, um, based off my suggestion, like there should be grime on him. Uh, on the most shattered glass Optimus, you'll see till all are gone. So that was a line that I came up with, um, sitting at my desk one day, and I came up with that line, and I sent it to Lanny, and he's like, "I love it." And uh, kind of became a staple of the character. So I'm a little sad to see that that didn't make it onto this version. I um, wish these, had, these legs had been a little different color. It's nice to see Shattered Glass make it into Mainline. 
I think it's uh, absolutely a viable repaint option. Let's see here. Let's see what that matrix looks like. There it is. Looking sharp. All right. All we got is his blaster, which would go over here. Now, the funny thing is, so the, in Shattered Glass, the Autobots are evil and the Decepticons are good. Yet in the comic, we had to have the Autobots win because evil wins. It's the opposite. Yet the Autobots still win because they're the evil one. So in Shattered Glass, the Autobots still defeat the Decepticons. Not sure how this is supposed to go. I think that's it. Awesome, awesome. Actually, I think this is a lot like Megatron where, oh, I see. Yep, there we go. Yep, there it is. That's where the shattered glass cannon goes. Beautiful. And then you can take these other little pieces from your other guys and like you can armor up this version because it's all five millimeter pegs. All right, so you can just take all these little things and, you know, put them in his hands. Very cool, very, very cool. All right, let's go ahead and uh, transform this dude. That matrix is removable, by the way. All righty, all righty, all righty. Yep, so that goes there. These are gonna go here. Do these hands go in? Nope, they do not. What's uh, the beauty of Transformers that sometimes you have to use your uh, imagination to uh, make something work. All right, and there we have it. Shattered Glass Optimus Prime. Super happy with this. I mean, the colors are perfect. Colors are absolutely perfect. That detail is amazing. I like this a lot. Um, I think it would be cool if there had been like a slash through it or maybe if it was upside down. Uh, so that's something to ponder in the future of Shattered Glass. Or, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. So that's really cool. That's That's really cool. All right. One more. Should we should we open this? No. You know, we'll just put this directly into the garbage down here. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us on Cut the Tape. I'm Rick Alvarez, Transformers expert. Um, please follow me for more recipes. And please forget to check out the TFYLP network. Uh, we have other shows on there. Um with things that happen and we, we talk about stuff. So thank thank you so much. And um alright. Bye. Bye. Wash my wash your hands. Bye.